So the next one we are going to see is the uh, improving the forecasting process. Forecasting is a very important activity in sales and supply chain process. Let's take the example of a car manufacturer. The car manufacturer must know what is going to be the extent of sales in the next financial year so that they can roll out the entire planning activities. The planning activities will involve the entire supply chain, right? What kind of components to procure for manufacturing the car. And this information is needed at a fairly granular level. The car manufacturing company may be manufacturing, let's say, 10 types of cars with uh, 30 different colors. So they need to plan for the entire procurement, right? And similarly, the sales process works in the form of uh, uh, sales through dealer network. So the sales planning will involve setting targets and even deciding what is the extent of compensation and incentive for the dealer network and their sales organization. So the entire uh, planning process of an organization, right, covering the supply chain and the sales uh, process hinges on the good accuracy of the next year's forecast at a granular level, right? So the organization, you know, with which we worked uh, did not have a robust uh, forecasting process. In fact, uh, their forecast accuracy prior to deploying this uh, uh, algorithm based tool was uh, low 60s, you know, as far as the six month accuracy was concerned. So what we brought in was a more structured process where the organization uh, brought in seasonality, historical demand, sales inputs, production inputs, operational inputs, okay, at a granular level. As I said, uh, the car manufacturing company uh, could have so many types of models and so many different types of uh, uh, variants, so many different types of colors, right? So all these factors need to be considered for the six factors that I'm, uh, for the five factors that I'm showing here, right? And this cannot be handled in an Excel based tool, which is what uh, the organization we worked with uh, were doing earlier, right? So we brought in an algorithm based tools where these inputs at a granular level uh, were analyzed, okay, and the forecast was provided to the respective organizations at a, again at a granular level. When I say granular, I'm referring to um, say a particular region, what is the level of sales expected, let's say in the southern region for this particular month, for this variant, for this color, right? We can go to that level of granularity. We were able to do this only because we implemented an algorithm based tool. Please understand this cannot be done by an Excel based tool. Even if you have a uh, hundred or thousand people working in such process, okay, the demand planning will always fall short, right? Low 60s is definitely not acceptable. What do you mean by a 60% forecast accuracy? It means that if I say that 100 cars will be sold, sold you know, uh, uh, six months from now, what actually got sold was either 60, okay, or 140, right? So that is the level of uh, deficiency that existed in the forecasting process. Thanks to the algorithm based tool, we improved it from 60% to mid 80s and the three month accuracy improved from low 80s to high 90s, right? So this brought in a lot of uh, stability to the process, a lot of predictability, right? Uh, firefighting and uh, finger pointing uh, uh, cases came down quite significantly. The number of escalations also uh, were brought down uh, uh, by a significant extent, right? So all this thanks to a, an algorithm based tool that considered multiple inputs at a very granular level, right? So that is the power of an analytics based forecasting process that can be deployed at scale, right? It can make a big difference to the way organizations manage their planning process, right?